so we back with another video today we got y'all boys with the contact dunk tutorial now i ain't gonna lie i got a lot of videos to drop for y'all boys um it's just been a little weird trying to drop these videos because there's videos i want to make in terms of rare builds there's builds i want to drop in terms of the best builds and when it comes to doing these animations i want to give y'all the best animations it's just tough to do all this stuff and i also want to give y'all gameplay so i'm gonna let y'all choose y'all let me know what y'all want I will be testing all the animations, but what do y'all want more? Do y'all want build wars? Do y'all want the gameplays? Do y'all want the animations? Do y'all want the build videos? Y'all let me know in the comments down below. But today, we're going to be doing a contact dunk tutorial. The only other tutorial I'm really thinking about doing right now is a 99 method updated for y'all boys, but that's not too complicated. But again, another one, just like for animations like I'm doing for dunk, we're going to do another one for the dribble. So if y'all do want the dribble, make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. No more talking. Let's hop into it. Let's go! All right, so I've been into it. Now, when it comes to what y'all be saying in the comments, I'll be looking at these joints. It'd be really a lot of contradicting things. So, when it comes to it's one crowd that be like, I talk too much in the videos. And it'd be another crowd that be like, hey, I wish you would just give us as much detail. You forgot to say this. And I promise you, I want to give y'all all of the good, but some people don't want all of the good. So, I, it's kind of tough. But I'm going to just do me. Whoever going to complain, they gonna complain. So let's hop into it. When it comes to the contact dunk tutorial, we're gonna go over the meters, we're gonna go over settings, we're gonna go over all different types of things that you really need to know for getting contact dunks in this game. Let's hop straight into it. When it comes to contact dunks, I'm gonna be honest, a part of it is you kinda have to know how to speed boost, get downhill. Now, with the dunk meter, the addition of a dunk meter a couple years ago, I think it went on 21, I think it started in 22 next gen. Since the dunk meter has gotten kind of involved, you now have always had like a green window on your dunk meter. This year, you don't have a green window. Now, I will say this. Season one, I will be honest. Depending on your build, it was just a lot harder to get contact dunks. Now, I will be honest, it's not as hard to green contact dunks. It just isn't. So, I just feel like it's a, it's a tad bit easier. Now, it does depend on where you are and where the defender is. So, what you need to really master first is just greening contact dunks. Now, I will be honest. Contact dunks timings differentiate depending on what dunk you you are doing, but it doesn't differentiate as much as it has in the past. So, with that being said, there's three things that you really need to know. You need a, a go-to move. So, there's three things that you need to know. You need a go-to move to get downhill, get past your defender. You need to know where the launch point is, and... You need to know your timing of your contact dunks. You need to know what you got on your, what you're trying to go for in terms of if you're gonna have the elites, are you gonna go for all the contact dunk packages, are you just gonna have the pro, and you need to know what your dunk meter is. So that last one is pretty much encapsulating everything into one, the timing for the dunk meter. The, just the timing of dunk meter is very simple. But another thing that you can also do, you don't have to go for dunk meter contact dunks. I just personally believe that dunk meter is the easiest way to do so but i will give you guys some other ways to activate contact dunks besides the dunk meter in this game all right so when it comes to go to move if you don't know how to speed boost in this game it's pretty simple um i, I would i would drop a dribble tutorial but i'm gonna do my best to explain it right here right now so when you're trying to speed boost Really, all you're going to do is just set your player up to go left or right. I like to speed boost out of misdirections. So, if you know how to do the explosive behind the back, when you do the explosive behind the back, if you're going to the left with the explosive behind the back, just go to the right. Just run to the right. If you're trying to do explosive behind the back to the right, just do a mixed direction going to the left. And if you practiced it, you'll get it down perfectly. Now, you can do a mixed direction out of an escape. You can do the mixed direction out of a anything. But just practice doing that, and I promise you, that's going to be the best way. Because if you get the defender going one way, it's going to be easier to catch them off guard by going the opposite way. It's not complicated. So that's something that you can practice to get around your defender. And that can work in a lot of different ways. If you're playing 5v5, somebody's in the zone. If you're playing 1v1 court, it don't really matter. You can set that up in any type of situation. Now, when it comes to getting downhill, this is the key factor before dunk meters even, even got involved. 
because I'm gonna give you guys not only just a dunk meter tutorial, but I'm also gonna give you guys another way of going about going for dunk meters. Pretty much when it comes to the best area to go for it. So you have the circle around the free throw line and you have the circle around the rim. What I like to do, the perfect spot on the court to activate it is right in between those two circles. When you get right in between those two circles of this paint or of the paint, that is the perfect area to now be trying to activate said contact dunk. Now, you can use that if you're doing dunk meters. You can use that if you're going to use the alternative methods I'm going to show you guys. Now, right here, I'm going to go over the dunk meters. Uh, I'm going to go over which ones are better. But first things, I want to talk about the timing. Now, I personally use the arrows. I personally haven't tested all these different things. I've tested them in terms of shooting. But the thing is, um, the only time I really tested it for other meters, I tested a little circular one, which we're going to get into. I'm going I'm to go into it when we're talking about that. Um, but for me, my personal favorite one is the arrows. I like the fact that the arrows, because when you are set to release it, they vanish. Literally, when you're supposed to release it, it vanish and it's pretty simple it's an arrow you have an arrow going up as soon as the arrow mix together that's when you're supposed to release it now i will be honest depending on what controller you use it may be delayed so you may not be able to just watch it i'm gonna be honest i've had that before um it's kind of sad but latency and all that type of stuff can start to factor when you're playing online so what you can do with the dump meter even though there's different you know what i'm saying timings for every dunk you can practice trying to memorize the timings of each dunk because if you get this dunk you're gonna get that timing every single time now the only issue is dunking this year you can get hit out of dunks more than ever but with you getting hit out of more dunks more than ever depending on your dunk rating you can get put into contact dunks as well so you can be going for a regular dunk but the dunk changes to a contact dunk or you can go from a contact dunk and it changes to a regular dunk now, that, that, that's not going to cancel out the dunk meter. It's just going to give you a different timing on that dunk meter. So, memorizing dunk meter is not going to be the best thing. But with latency is involved, it's going to be kind of rough. So, you probably just... Sometimes it's just about your connection on some things. But, like, if you know how to time your jump shot, you're going to just have to get used to it just like you would have to get time in your jump shot. It's the same thing. With anything that you time... You want to just get used to it the same way that you got used to Tommy your jump shot because everybody have to shoot except for I guess insides, but yeah. Um, now when it comes to dunk packages, we're gonna go over this before we go over the meters, because like I said, the meters it matters, but like it really does depend on preference with the meters. Like just looking at the meters when I'm just trying to time it with the jump shots or layups, I already can kind of tell what I'ma like for my dunk. So that's just what it is. So. Uh, when it comes to the dunks, it's not really too much. I'm going to just say this. When it comes to Michael Jordan, I have it on. My bill has a 99 dunk. I shall be taking it off. Because this is the first time I'm looking at it. Since I used it that day I was testing this joint out, it's not It's not good. i am be honest, it's not good. Like, the free throw line dunk is good. But everything else, if you've played this game trying to dunk, you understand how much people want to take you out of dunks. Every single one of these cra cradle dunks I tried to do online, I got taken out every single time. So, yes, it, the pretty much majority of those are just too slow. Malik Monk is good, but I will be taking this off as well. Um, the only dunks you really need, Russell Westbrook, if you're 6'5 and up, LeBron James, um, another one, Leaning Slams. Literally, this is the better Michael Jordan dunk. If you just want, like, if you just want the free throw line dunk for the Michael Jordan dunk, okay, I get it. It is the free throw line dunk. You can't get that anywhere else. I understand that. But the Leaning Dunks is... 10 times better because it doesn't have any of the bad animations. Now, to go alongside that, the quick drops off one. You also got the front clutches, but I've never been a front clutch guy. But yeah, the quick drops off one is definitely one. Now, those are things to put alongside your contact dunks. Now, um, the reason why you would put certain dunks on your build last year was because it would get you more contact dunks. That is just not the case this year, from my experience. Now, on my 99, I do only use Elite. But I will say this, the more of these packages, the more contact dunks you will get in more situations. Because every single contact dunk has an animation depending on where you are and where your defender is. Now, look at where he's launching from these contact dunks. He's in between that circle on the free throw line and the circle under the rim. That's why I was telling you those are when you want to start trying to trigger 
your contact dunks. That's when you want to start trying to go for it. That's when you want to start doing a dunk meter or doing a dunk. We're going to go over that later. But yeah, that's all you really need to know. Um, contact alley-oops, pretty much similar as last year. So if somebody's coming down the lane, you're in front of them, pretty much what you want to do is down on the left stick and just double tap Y. And I'm telling you, you will pretty much, if you know how to set people up, it'll work almost every single time. You can put people in a post, throw it up. I'm telling you, it'll work so, so well. It's so consistent doing that. That's the best way I know since they even introduced the contact alley-oops. But the contact alley-oops is a lot more RNG than trying to do a regular contact dunk. Okay, you can't even see it. I don't, I don't know how to put it to the right, to be real with you. But yeah, so pretty much... You got these three different meters. I think there's another meter or something that you can get somehow, but from my knowledge, it's these three meters. So you got the arrow, that's the one I use. Whenever it gets to the top, you have an arrow, a little the thing, I guess an arrow at the top, and you have the arrow that's going up. Whenever it meets its perfect point, it vanishes. In my opinion, that's the best one. Ring, you got one that's just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. In my opinion, this is the worst one. Because when it's getting smaller and smaller in the game, it's just that much harder to see. So, yeah, I I can see if it was getting bigger, but I guess I get it why it goes smaller. But it's just not it's just not as ideal as the arrow to me. And then we got the dial. Now, this is the other one I tried. I'm going to be honest, for contact dunks, I could genuinely see in this being even better than the arrow because it's, it's a circle. As the circle starts to vanish, you now know where this one is so i could see this one honestly being better than the arrow because it's a circle the less of the circle you see the closer it is for when you can stop timing it arrow you're just seeing an arrow go up you can kind of miss time that a couple times miss input that a couple times and you can kind of understand that but the circle you're gonna see where if you did it er too early almost every single time now like i said when it comes to having this stuff you can't take meters off for dunks when you're doing this you gotta understand there's gonna be latency online but like I said, you can try to muscle memory it because each one of the dunks have the same timing every single time you do that exact dunk. But the difference is some dunks take, have a longer timing. Some dunks have shorter timing. But for the most part, a lot of the contact dunks this year do have similar timing. It's just like one dunk where you do like a Euro and you're just dunking them, that has a stupid long timing. So if you learn these dunks, you're gonna know what dunk you're getting if you've been playing 2K for a long enough time. But if you haven't, just get used to what dunks you're going to do, and simple as that. Now, another thing that you could do in that is pretty much just don't put on certain packages. Put on just one package, and you'll master your package for your timings. It's not difficult. It's not rocket science. The more packages you have on, the more dunk animations you're going to get. Simple as that. Now, we went over everything for dunk meters pretty much that I can. Um, let's get into some... 2KU stuff so I can show you guys exactly how to do dunks or contact dunks at the best way possible without trying to do dunk meter. Alright, so right here, whenever you try, I'm not gonna do this. I'm just I'm just pulling this up because this is like the new 2KU to learn 2K thing. I forgot they even added this. But pretty much the best way to do a contact dunk before dunk meters was doing a flashy dunk. And they kind of brought this back this season. They made it way simpler. They had like the little you know how you do a dunk meter where you go up and down on an analog stick? Now, if I ain't gonna lie, if I gotta do y'all, I'll show y'all a tutorial on how to do dunk meter. I'll show that real quick too on the screen, but I'm not finna like, I'll show it on the screen. But for the flashy dunk, pretty much all you gotta do is move and down on the right stick. It's not, it's not complicated. That's literally how it was. Like it wasn't, you know how you do a dunk meter now where you have to do the little up, down and all that? You don't have to do that no more. So skill dunk. So pretty much, that's pretty much what it is. You pretty much hold the RT and then go up and then go down. Pretty much simple as that. So simple, simple as that. Now, the thing is when it comes to doing a skill dunk or how you do that entire thing, they used to have it like that for the flashy dunk. Um, and the reason why flashy dunk used to be the best thing to get contact dunks was because there was no dunk meter. And the reason why it did give you contact dunks more is because it's going to give you the flashiest dunk possible for that situation. So, what's the flashiest dunk you can do in a game? A contact dunk. So, that's just what it was. Now, uh, to my knowledge, the dunk meter don't do it like that. It just gives you a dunk. And a random dunk for that situation every single time. But it's going to give you a dunk. The flashy dunk, the reason why it is a risk 
is because it's not going to give you a dunk every single time. But depending on your dunk rating, it will. But flashy dunk used to be the meta. Um, I think it's good again this year. I think it's actually a valid thing to do this year. You don't have to do dunk meter. You'll be able to get it really consistently. The thing is, I would say, on this game, honestly, the issue on this game was the dunking ability. When you went for dunk, people would be able to take you out the dunk. Now, I will be honest. This season, I have not had that happen nearly as frequently as it did season one. The issue I have now is I get if I get blocked, just I'll just get blocked. I'll be able to finish the dunk, but I'll get blocked. So I don't know if 2K touched that or not, but I still get I get hit out the dunk, but it don't happen as frequently. That's what I'll say. Um, I would really still say layups are really really good on this game, especially with the RNG of the layups. But dunking, I'm gonna be honest. Um, with how easy it is the green dunk meter, and the fact that flashy dunk kind of got reverted to how it used to be. Oh no. Oh no, Duncan is pretty. Oh no, it's not as RNG as it was season one. Season one, it was very RNG. I think rim running is very, very valid right now. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what else could I even show y'all. I showed y'all the dunk packages. I showed y'all flashy dunk. I showed y'all dunk meter. I showed y'all different meters you can use for your dunk meter. There's nothing much else to say, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, when it comes to 2K, bro. Um, they add new controls, but the game worked pretty much the same. It's just gonna be different gameplay. Like the dunking was RNG because the defense now could fight back. Like if you put the defense in a in a contact animation, the defense can now take you out of a contact animation. And I think that was in a way balanced, but the way they did it was just weird. And it was very annoying as a slasher. Now the biggest issue I have with dunking right now ain't that. The biggest issue is the strip dunks when people just. And I'm going to be honest, you don't even got spam. I've seen it firsthand. You can just press X and it'll give it to you. You, you like genuinely like that is ridiculous. So people in my badge video saying glove is not broken. I don't think it's broken on ball, which I said in that video. I think it's only really a problem for the dunks. Outside of dunks and layups, the strips is not that crazy. I feel, I feel like bump steals is balanced. I feel like pokes is balanced. If anything, sometimes you probably should get more steals on ball. But the strip dunks, the strip layups are not balanced. There's nothing balanced about it. Like, I can see if you, like, timed it and you're in the paint. That's not what happens. It'll be somebody that's guarding the corner. They'll press X and they'll get an animation on you. And they're in the corner playing defense, just baiting. So not only are they were they able to play the lane and play the paint, they nerfed the lane so they can't play the lane as easy anymore. So... Instead of the bait, you can just make the pass. But I don't know if you know this. You can't contact dunk the air. It's a, it's a literal feature in the game. So, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if I've ever even got a contact dunk on somebody that was spamming X on me. I literally, there, there's genuinely no way to know. There's just no way to know. But I've seen multiple times where I got taken out of a contact dunk from an X button. So, that's what I'll say. Um, but, yeah, that's the contact dunk tutorial. I don't know how much more I could even say in this video. So I'm going to just say like the video. Y'all do want the dribble tutorial. Let me know. Um, like I said, I got a lot I want to do. Like all of my builds, I still haven't posted. When it comes to, I got a stretch, a versatile stretch build. I got a LeBron James build. Actually, I dropped the D-Wade build. If you ever came across me in a wreck, I look black with number three on. That's my D-Wade build. Simple. Um, yeah, and that's definitely the most fun build I have on here. Simple. It's simple as that. Uh... I'll probably give y'all some gameplay on it soon, but for the most part, that's the best I got on here. That's definitely the most fun build, at least. I don't know if it's the best build. It's the most fun build. But I got a lot of, like, I guess, builds I meant to make as the best build in the game where I went for getting as much stuff. Um, I don't know if people remember this, but on 2K20, was it 22 or 23, I dropped hybrid builds where it was builds that could play two positions in one. So maybe you was a big man, but if you wanted to play guard on it, I made a hybrid guard big man big. I got a hybrid guard lock, hybrid lock big, hybrid guard big man for this season. Or not season, but this year. So if y'all do want those, make sure to like the video. I got a lot. I got a lot. Just make sure to show the support. Put in the comments down below what y'all want the most. I told y'all dribble tutorial. I will be ranking every single layup very soon. Just stay tuned. Just like the video. Subscribe. All that good stuff out the way. I've been trying my hardest to get the content out for y'all boys. Without further ado though, man, it's your boy Fitz, man. I'm out of here, man.
I got digital dash, came right with a art. I walk in the store and I buy the stock. I hide in the bins and pull out the lot. Got Tiffany diamond, they cost me a lot. They flying like birds. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah!